Chinese Naval Task Force conducted combat exercises in the eastern Indian Ocean and the western Pacific earlier this month. The drills raised security concerns in the region, prompting China's defense ministry to clarify its intentions. Tong Bo has more. Two Blue Sea exercises within just one month. China conducted two naval drills in the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific in early February. But the drills raised concerns among national security establishments across the region. To clarify its intentions, China says it presents no threat to the region. This is a regular arrangement included in an annual training program. It's not targeting any particular country or enemy. The three-ship flotilla of China's South Sea Fleet conducted 10 exercises, including anti-piracy, search and rescue, over a five-day period based out of the Lombok Strait near Bali Island in Indonesia. The flotilla then entered the Western Pacific Ocean on February 4 for more combat training. The Indo-Pacific venture led to suggestions in the region that the drills might be a signal from China regarding ongoing disputes over the South China Sea and the country's commitment to maintaining its sovereignty. China has the right to free passage in international waters. We have always observed international law and also taken into consideration security concerns of neighboring countries. And as to the training exercises, we have already informed relevant parties. China has been systematically developing a blue water navy that will have a global reach, including the launching of its first aircraft carrier. China has also sent ships to join anti-piracy patrols off the coast of Somalia and taken part in joint exercises in the Mediterranean Sea and elsewhere. The drills took place against a backdrop of territory issues, China's growing naval power and security concerns in the region. That's why experts say new kinds of maritime security dialogue and practical surveillance cooperation in the region are necessary. Tambo, CCTV, Beijing.